Hi mga kawawmat! So in this video, we will focus on how to solve problems involving quadratic equations. Okay? So this is another video tutorial on how to solve problems. So let's have the first one. A rectangular table has an area of 27 square feet and a perimeter of 24 feet. What are the dimensions of the table? So first, for us to solve the problem, you have to understand the problem. Okay? So, in the given problem, it says here that the area of the rectangular table is 27 square feet. So, we will we all know that uh, in finding the area of a rect rectangle, that is length times width, and that is 27. Okay? Now, in perimeter, so we are representing the perimeter as the sum of twice its length and twice its width, and that is 24. Okay, so first, you have to understand the problem. Okay, now let us write the equation. So, we have now x squared plus b over ax plus c over a is equal to 0, where negative b over a is the sum of roots and c over a is the product. Okay, so if you want to recall the video tutorial about the sum and the product of the roots, you may uh watch the previous videos from our playlist okay so for us to represent to find the sum of the given uh statement okay so we have negative b over a is equal to 12 or we can have it b over a is equal to negative 12 okay now bakit naging 12 okay because we can divide this equation by 2. So, 2 divided by 2, that is length. And then, 2 divided by 2 again, that is width. And then, 24 divided by 2, that is 12. So, therefore, we will have L plus W is equal to 12 or length plus width is equal to 12. That's why we have the sum of the roots, which is 12 or negative 12. So, it depends if it's negative B over A or B over A. Okay, now for the product, since we already have the product length times width, that is 27. So, therefore, our C over A is equal to 27. Okay, now, so again, we have our negative B over A, which is 12, or B over A is equal to negative 12. And our C over A is equal to 27. So, this is the sum. This is the product. Okay, so let us solve the equation. x squared plus b over ax plus c over a is equal to 0. So, uh, what are you going to do is you just have to substitute the values for the sum and the product. Okay, so our b over a is negative 12. Okay, so this is x squared plus negative 12. This is your b over a. So, that is negative 12x. Plus, C over A is equal to 27, is equal to 0. Now, so let us simplify. So, we will have X squared. So, this is your X squared. Minus 12X plus 27 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation na pwede natin i-simplify by factoring. Okay, or is solved by factoring. So, x squared minus 12x plus 27, we can have it x minus 3 times x minus 9. Okay, so now since we already have these factors, we're going to equate these factors by 0. So, we will have x minus 3 is equal to 0 or x minus 9 is equal to 0. So, let us solve for the values of x. So, we have x is equal to 3 or x is equal to 9. So, this implies that the width of the table is 3 feet and its length is 9 feet. Now, paano natin nalaman na yung 9 feet, that is your length? So, alam naman natin that the length is always longer than its width. Okay? Now, let us check. Okay, so balikan natin yung problem. A rectangular table has an area. So how do we get the area? By multiplying the length and width. So 3 times 9, that is 27 square feet. Okay, and then for the perimeter, we will be adding the 
uh, uh, we will be adding twice its width and twice its length. So, the width, if we were gonna multiply it by 2, so 3 times 2, that is 6, and then 9 times 2, that is 18, so 6 plus 18, that is 24 feet. So, it is satisfies or uh, it says that the, our solution is true in the given problem. Okay, another. So, the sum of two numbers is 19. The sum of the squares of the number is 193. Find the two numbers. Okay, so how are we going to do this? First, understand the problem. So, let x be one of the numbers. So, since hindi natin alam kung ano yung numbers na yun, so we will use representation. So, let x be one of the numbers, and then 19 minus x be the other number. Okay? Now, how are we going to represent the sum of the squares of the number? So, is square natin to, is square din natin to, that is the sum of the square of the number. So, we will have x squared, is square natin siya, and then 19 minus x is square din natin, and that is the sum of the squares of the two numbers. Now, let us write the equation. So, given the equation, the sum of the squares of the number is 193. Since meron na tayong representation nito, nito nitong hanggang number, so, is equal to 193. So, we will just copy this. That is x squared plus 19 minus x squared is equal to 193. So, this will be our equation. Now, let us solve the equation. So, I have here x squared plus the square of 19 minus x is equal to 193. So, x squared, this is the square of a binomial. So, let us solve. So, this will become 361 minus 38x plus x squared is equal to 193. Okay? By combining similar terms, we will have 2x squared. Bakit naging 2x squared? Because I have here x squared and another x squared. So, that is 2x squared. And then, minus 38x, we will just copy. And then, we will transpose 193 to the left side of the equation. So, we will have 361 minus 193. And that's, uh, that is 168. Okay? Since this equation can be divided by 2, so therefore, we can have x squared minus 19x plus 84. So, dinivide natin siya by 2. Alright? So, ngayon, pwede na nating isolve this quadratic equation by factoring. So, we can have x minus 7 times x minus 12 is equal to 0. So, by equating these factors by 0, so we will have x minus 7 is equal to 0 or x minus 12 is equal to 0. So, therefore, we will have x is equal to 7 and x is equal to 12. Now, balikan natin yung representation natin kanina. So, let x be one of the numbers and 19 minus x be the other number. Okay, let us substitute 7 to x. If your x is equal to 7, what is the other number? So, 19 minus x, which is 7, so that is 12. Therefore, the other number is 12. Now, if your x is equal to 12, okay? So, let us substitute to 19 minus x, which is 19 minus 12, so that is 7. So, if uh, your x is 12, then the other number is 7, okay? So, thus, the two numbers are 7 and 12. Okay, balik tayo dun sa problem. So, ang sabi, the sum of two numbers is 19. So, let us add 7 plus 12, that is 19. And then, the sum of the squares of the number. Pag in daw natin yung squares ng dalawang number natin, so the square of 7 is 49, the square of 12 is 144, and 49 plus 144, that is 193. Let's have the third problem. The inclined ramp used for loading cars in a truck is 8 meters longer than the rise of the ramp. 
The rand is 7 meters longer than the rice. How long are the three sides of the ram? So, we are looking for the uh, sides of the given uh, problem. Okay? So, let us represent or and understand the problem. So, let x, itong x natin, be the rise of the ram. Okay? So, itong x natin, ito siya. Ito yung rise of the ram. Ito yun. And then, the run of the ramp, ang sabi, the run of the ramp is 7 meters longer than the rise. Since ito yung rise natin, 7 meters longer than the rise. So, this is the run. Okay, ito yun. And then, the length of the ramp, ito siya, kung gaano siya kahaba, is 8 meters longer than the rise of the ramp. So, if this is the rise, 8 meters longer than the rise. Okay? So, let us write the equation. So, if this is your A, so our A here will be the rise. Okay? And then your B will be the run, which is 7 meters longer than the rise. And then your C, which is your hypotenuse, that is 8 meters long, uh, longer than the rise. And this is the uh, length of the inclined ramp. Okay? So, uh, by using Pythagorean theorem, which is c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared, all you have to do is to substitute all the values given. Okay? So, kanina nag-represent tayo, diba? So, ang gagawin na lang natin ngayon is we will substitute the values. Okay? So, our c is x plus 8. So, therefore, x plus 8 squared. And then, our A is X, so that is X squared. Plus, our B is X plus 7, so that is X plus 7 squared. Okay, let us solve. So, we will have X plus 8 squared is equal to X squared plus the square of X plus 7. Okay, so this is your rise. Okay, so let us expand this square of binomial. So, we will have x squared plus 16x plus 64 is equal to x squared plus. So, is expand natin to. Let us solve for the given square of a binomial. So, that is x squared plus 14x plus 49. Okay? Now, anong gagawin natin? We will transpose. So, lipat natin lahat from left to right. So, we will have, so, since this is x squared and x squared, so, we can combine this two. So, that is 2x squared plus 14x, plus 49. And then, since nagmagta-transpose tayo, we will change all the signs of the given uh, term. So, we will have minus x squared, minus 16x, and minus 64. Okay, now this time, we will combine similar terms. So, we can have 2 minus x, that is x squared, 14x, Minus 16x, that is negative 2x. And 49 minus 64, that is negative 15, is equal to 0. Okay, bakit siya nagbaliktad? Okay, inayos lang natin siya. Okay? Now, this x squared minus 2x minus 15, anong pwede natin gawin dyan? Pwede natin siyang isolve by factoring. So, we can have x minus 5 times x plus 3 is equal to 0. So, therefore, we can have x minus 5 is equal to 0 or x plus 3 is equal to 0. So, how we, let us solve for the values of x. So, we will have x is equal to 5 and x is equal to negative 3. Now, since the length of the side cannot be negative, okay, we conclude that the height of the rump is 5. Okay, so ito siya. Okay, so 5 meters. So, therefore... The height of the rump, ito, the height of the rump, since our value is 5, so the height is 5 meters, so sinasubstitute na natin yung values niya. Okay? And then, the, um, the, okay, the inclined rump natin, so that is, this is 5 plus 8, that is 13. So, ayun yung C natin. So, yun yung inclined rump. Okay? And then, yung... Uh, tawag natin yung run. Yung run niya, that is 
uh, 12. So, I since 5 ang value ng x natin. So, 5 plus 7, that is 12. So, ito yung base natin. Alright? So, the rise of the rump is 5. The inclined rump is 13. And the base is 12 meters. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell para updated kayo for more video tutorials. This is your guide in learning your math lessons, your Walmart channel.